Okay, lesson five, we're gonna do algebra. I'm gonna do this in two parts. This first part is gonna be notes and then we'll do the questions. So um, intermediate algebra includes all of these topics. There's more, obviously. Um, nine to 12 is an estimate, okay? It's not a exact, but I mean, it could be eight, could be 13, but it's somewhere in there. So quadratic formula, I wanna remind you um, that it's got to equal zero for us to put those in and then again we've got a and b a and b and c right there we talked about that before and that's where we get the b a and c for quadratic formula i'll spare you the song you're welcome and then over here we've got greater than greater than or equal to less than less than or equal to and again we talked about that um like right here, if I had three X's greater than negative 12, and then of course we would divide by three to solve, because that's positive, nothing would change. It would still be X is greater than negative four, but if it was negative three X is greater than negative 12, this time if I divided by a negative three, even though my answer is now positive, it doesn't matter. Because I divided by or multiplied by a negative, I have to switch the direction. Okay, so write it down. Maybe you'll remember when I multiply or divide by a negative, I switch the inequality. So not the sign, not the, ne this is a negative and a positive is a negative, a negative divided by a negative is positive. All that's the same. I'm talking about right here, this inequality sign. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and keep going down this left-hand side since I'm right here. Uh, it's a toughie. There's a lot going on here. So again, um, I'm wanting to get x by itself, but we've got these absolute values. And then, uh, remember it's PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. When we're solving, we go backwards. So if I can add or subtract something away first, of course, it's going to be that plus 14. So I'm going to subtract 14, which is going to give me a negative 2 outside the absolute value of 2x plus 3. And that would be a negative 30. And then again, I would uh, divide both sides by a negative 2. And so that would give me the absolute value of 2 plus x equals 15. So here's the thing. Either the absolute value of 15 can equal 15, or the absolute value of a negative 15 could also equal 15. So we would take this inside and we can say it can equal 15, or it can equal negative 15. Then I would solve, and I would get x equals 6 or x equals negative nine. Down here, this is kind of a secondary math three topic, but again, this looks like it's crossing at negative two, at zero, and we'll just say that's positive one. So if it's negative two, remember we talked about that in the past lesson, if it's negative, it's gotta be x plus two. You could put x minus zero, or you can just put x, and if it's a positive one, we'd say x minus one. Now, if I were to put that into my calculator right away, I still have a previous word there. If I were to put in x plus 2, x and x minus 1, like we had, and I hit graph, it's going to go up from left to right. So secondary math 3 students, do you remember what makes it go down from left to right? I hope you put a negative. So if I went back in there, oops, if I went back in there and inserted a negative, then you can see it go down from left to right. Not worried about all um, the rest of it, the amplitude or anything, but that's the general equation that it would be. Okay, moving on. So this is an example. I don't love this example, but technically we're going to distribute, right? And six times three would make 18, and six times 12 is 72. And the reason why I don't like it is because at Hunter, what we do is we say 18 is three times six and three times two. And so 
These are going to escape from jail. One doesn't make it though, and so three goes on the outside, three radical two. Do you see it right there? So right here, they did the, the perfect squares, which is the way I taught was taught way back in the day, but um, that's just not how it's done anymore. So we've got nine times eight, three and three, two and four, two and two, and so again, we would round up, we got a three and a two that could escape from jail, but that two wouldn't, and so that's why it's six rad two. And once it's the same, three rad two plus six rad two, three plus six right here, three plus six makes nine. It's almost like a, a X, right? Three X plus six X is nine X, right? So I want to give you a second, should you want to, you could try that, so you could pause it. Okay, so hopefully you did pause and you tried it yourself. So we would have three times three, that's the square root of nine. So they're both on the inside, I can multiply it. But right here, because one's on the inside and one's not, I would have to write like this, minus six rad three. Then when I multiply a positive six times rad three, and then six times negative six is negative 36. And then you can see that these are a light term, so they would cancel out. The square root of nine is three, minus 36 is negative 33. Okay, so that was just a really quick lesson. Um, adding matrices is only in secondary math one honors. So if you weren't in honors, then you didn't get this, but you can do this. Here we go. It says if I have a one in the left hand right, uh, top left and a three in the top left, one plus three makes four. Okay, negative five plus two is negative three. Can you finish the bottom? I'll give you a second. So four plus negative two is two, and two plus one is three, done. Okay, so this one's a little bit more difficult. So what we're gonna do is when we're multiplying matrices, we would use the top times the left is gonna make top left. So let me show you right here. You can see we've got one, two, three, seven, nine. So top and left is gonna make this top left. So there's all kinds of complicated, like that this is a two by three and a three by two is gonna make a two by two, but here's the basic idea, is if I have the top left, so I've got that one and seven, so I'm gonna do one times seven plus two times nine plus three times 11, and that's gonna give me 58. So if I wanted to find this top right, I would do this top and this right column. So I would do one times eight, plus two times 10, plus three times 12. I already did it and it was a 64. Do you wanna try the bottom left and the bottom right? Let me give you just a minute to try it yourself. Okay, hopefully you took the time to do that. So again, I went uh, bottom left, so that would go right here. So I would have four times seven plus five times um, nine, sorry, plus six times 11, and that should have been 139. And if you haven't stopped and tried it, you should. All right, here's the bottom right. So that would go right here. So that would be four times eight plus five times 10 plus six times 12, which would be 154. Okay, so you should have a full set of notes now. I'm gonna pause and we're gonna go to the next set.